Hello, my name is Chris Hammond, I'm the Director of Training here at .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between admin and host accounts in .NET Nuke. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is a portal, or what is a website in .NET Nuke. We'll define that so that we can then define what an administrator is, or what an admin is, and then what a host or a super user is. A portal within .NET Nuke is an individual website. That's one of the benefits of running .NET Nuke is you can host multiple websites out of an installation of the platform, meaning one database and one set of files can house multiple websites. Each website or each portal will typically have a unique URL known as a portal alias. Each portal will also then have unique users, unique roles for security management, unique pages, and then the content on each of those pages is unique as well. So from one website to another, all within one installation of .NET Nuke, you don't have shared users, shared roles, shared pages, or shared content. Now, when you have an individual website in .NET Nuke, during the process of creating that website, you will have what's known as an administrator account that gets created. Out of the box, when you install .NET Nuke for the first time, you're going to have an account with the username of admin created. Now, you can change that during the, the portal creation process, but if you don't change it, that default username will just be known as admin. Now, that admin account is just an administrator on that first portal. They're a member of the administrator's role. Now, in a future video, we'll talk in more detail about the roles and security built into .NET Nuke. But that admin account is a unique username and being part of the administrator's role gives them access to the admin menu which then gives them the ability to create users pages place content on those pages they can also control permissions on those pages and allow other users to go and create content or create pages now administrators have the ability to place modules on pages they also have the ability to define which users within a portal can place which modules on pages. They can also apply skins and containers to the website or to various pages, allowing administrators the ability to go through and change the look and feel of a website. Now, an administrator in one website is not an administrator in another website in that same installation of .NET Nuke. And when you go through and you create additional websites, if you create multiple portals, a new account will need to be created for each of those portals that will become the administrator for that particular portal. The usernames for each of those accounts must be unique, so you can't reuse the username admin in multiple portals. Now it's also possible to have multiple administrators for an individual website. You control that through the use of the administrator's role in .NET Nuke, and as I said, we'll talk more about roles and security in a future video. Now beyond the admin account, there's another account that gets created when you're setting up .NET Nuke for the first time. That's known as the host account. It's actually what's known as a super user account. The default username being host. Well, a host account has the ability to manage multiple websites. They can access and control any .NET Nuke website within that installation of .NET Nuke. They have admin or administrator access to each of those websites it gets created. They also, because they're a super user, have the ability to access the host menu, which gives them the ability to create additional portals or websites. They can create and utilize templates for portals. They can install extensions such as skins, modules, containers, and providers. They also, as a super user, have direct access to the SQL server through the host SQL page. And they have the ability within .NET New Professional Edition to impersonate users. So if you need to test a website using a very specific account that you don't have the password for, as a host account, you can go in and change yourself to be that user and impersonate the user, test out the website using that particular account. Now, out of the box, .NET Nuke is going to have one super user account with the username of host. It's possible to create additional super user accounts. Obviously, they would all then have their unique usernames. A host account can log into any website in .NET Nuke. They have direct access to each of those websites when they do so. 
Now, if we switch over here to our window where we have a, a .NET Nuke Professional Edition 5.6.0 installation running, what you'll find when you do a fresh installation of .NET Nuke, be it Community Edition or Professional Edition, is if you scroll down, that default home page that gets created has some user information that gets displayed here under the Getting Started section. We have an, a login for the administrator account or admin account and a password of DNN admin. We also have a login for the host account with a password of DNN host. Now these are the default usernames and passwords. If you go through the automatic installation for .NET Nuke, these will be the ones that get created. If you use the custom or typical installation of .NET Nuke, you can change that information during the, the installation process. If you choose to change the username or change the password during that installation process, that new username and password is not displayed here on the Getting Started section. This is just hard-coded information that comes out of an HTML file within the .NET Nuke database with the default username and password. Now what we can go ahead and do is log into this website as either of those two accounts. Now when we log into the website for the first time as the administrator account, I'm going to go ahead and click on login up here. When I log in, it's going to prompt me to change my password because it will see that I'm using the default password of DNN admin which obviously is not very secure if you don't change it. So we're going to go ahead and log into the website and we'll be prompted then to change that password. So I go ahead and log in. It asks me for the current password and we'll type in a new password. Now once we've done so, we'll be logged in as the administrator and we'll see that we now have access to the admin menu within our navigation. Now the admin menu provides various administrator functions that we can now access. If we go ahead and log out as the administrator and we log in as the host account, we use host, DNN host, because I haven't changed the default username or password. Now, when we log in as the host account, we don't get prompted to change our password, but it does tell us that we should go through and change our password. Get a message here that tells us we have an insecure account. So we can go ahead and change the password by clicking on the super user account name here, which will take us to our profile page. And from the profile page, we can click on the edit profile link. By going to the Edit Profile page, we'll have an option there to manage our password. And here we can go ahead and type in the existing password and a new password. Now, while we're logged in with the host account, you'll see that we have access to the admin menu and all of the features that the administrator for this particular portal has. We also have access to the host menu in which we can get to the various host or super user features. If we would like to create additional host or super user accounts, we can do that from the host menu by going to the super user accounts page. And from here we can go ahead and add a new user that would become a host or a super user. Now as we said, Host accounts have access to everything within .NET Nuke, the ability to install extensions, the ability to create portals, the ability to manage portals, where administrators just have access to the existing portal that they're an administrator for. They can't log into other portals or other websites within an installation of .NET Nuke. Now this video has been provided as part of our .NET Nuke training. We offer a number of free videos. We also offer instructor-led online training custom on-site and custom online training. If you're interested in more training, I'd encourage you to check out the training page on .netnuke.com. You can visit it by going to the URL here on the screen. Remember that URL is case sensitive. Once again, this is Chris Hammond from the .NET Nuke Corporation. Thank you for watching the video.